It seems I'm doing a lot of indie games that aren't out just yet. Hello everyone and welcome to my favourite title of any game ever, Jenny LeClue Detective Who. Just mwah, beautiful, beautiful name, I love that. Uh, yeah, I don't really know too much about this game. It was on Kickstarter, I think, in August, I think, uh, last year, and I didn't actually know about it until literally yesterday. Um, and I'm kind of annoyed that I missed it, but I'm very, very tempted to pre-order this game, because it looks super cool from what I've seen, so, uh, yeah, let's begin. Uh, this is a demo available to, uh, you can, uh, play it for free, but you can also donate if you want to, and there's also pre-orders and various stuff you can do, like Kickstarter, on the website, so, uh, check it out if you like what you see here. Uh, I am sure. I played it briefly to make sure that it worked. So, let's go. Okay, so, those are the things, except I'm not using a keyboard, but yes. <laughs> Please wear headphones. This is a playable teaser, a taste of the atmosphere of Jenny LeClue. Episode 1 will feature a fully voiced cast of characters and a whole world to explore, so join Jenny on a mini-adventure and unlock the secrets, seek, the secrets within. Good job, Teal. Well done. You can read things. Oh, yeah, this is all I've seen, but <laughs> it's beautiful. Just look at it. Chapter 13, Breaking and Entering. The trail led her here, where once she was greeted with open arms, now only a locked door. Hmm. Okay, interesting. So... Aha! Okay. Uh, I assume this goes in here. If I can get it in. Uh, oh, wait. That. There it is, okay. That's cool. I like that. That's a nice little puzzle. The house reeked of mothballs and damp fur, just as she remembered. It must be here somewhere, she thought. And so she entered. And then she was stat. No, she's fine. She'll be fine. I have faith now. We're controlling that. She'll be fine. Study. <coughs> House. Do you know what? <coughs> is my favourite person to talk to. I love them. Like, this one time. <coughs> you said the funniest thing. Oh my god, you wouldn't believe it. Am I going to want to remember these? Because I... I won't. <laughs> the atmosphere is really good. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm gonna to wanna to go over there. Okay then. <clears throat> let's let's do that then. Oh my god. Oh I love the style of this game. It's gorgeous. He typed something on that paper. I can't read it in the dark. Okay, so we're gonna to need to turn the lights on. Oh, there's the light. There we go. Hey Jenny! How old is Jenny? Looks like maybe early teens, maybe a little younger, I don't know. It smells of fresh ink and cigar smoke. Being careful not to disturb anything on the desk, Jenny read the note. Gloria, please do not read or move the books when cleaning my study. Thank you. S. <coughs> Interesting. Actually, it was just S, so it would be... <coughs> that, that, that's the, the dumbest name. <laughs> and then... <coughs> there we go. Lovely. So many medals and awards. Are all these for the same person? Honorable Field Medal. 
Marksman Award. Ma 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 Marksman Award. Second prize, ABB. Arthur Arthurton Brownie Bake Off. <laughs> wow. Magic. Don't read or move the books. Well, I'm not going to listen to you. What was playing on the radio before? It sounded strange, like a coded message. Jenny was curious, but she couldn't risk being caught and left it alone. Um, did I imagine that? Gonna do it again, or? <laughs> Definitely seemed real. Not doing that again. <laughs> Strangely satisfying. <laughs> that, I, 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 I truly understand. Hmm, let's see. Oh, this is so cool. 16 flutes, 3 tumblers, half a bottle of scotch. All meticulously cleaned and arranged. Wait a second. That bottle is dusty. Like it hasn't been moved in years. Ah, hello. A clue, perhaps. If it would let me examine it. There's a peep that the bullilla. There's a piece of paper behind the bottle. A new clue! It says please destroy after. Found one of five clues. Okay, that's good that's good then. Cool. Oh hello. There it was. Just as it, as it had been described to her. I can't read today for some reason. A silver flashlight with bronze trim. You found the flashlight. There was an inscription on the bottom. Um, to my handsome prince, always find your way home. This is it. I knew I'd find it here. It's risky, but now that I have the flashlight, I could find out why he's so protective of his books. Ah, I see. Right, okay. That's cool. So I just examine... I love how I'm moving really not far. Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, just had to check that out. Ah, books. Hundreds and hundreds of books. There's nothing like losing yourself in a good book, or free. I'm kind of in a hurry here. I don't have time to read them all. What is it Mum always says? Eliminate the noise, focus on the details, and the truth will, re re will reveal itself. Reading. I can't today. <laughs> Much better. Let's find out what he's hiding in these books. I think I'll start with... that one. Maybe she's not teens. Maybe she's younger. Well, early teens. Like... So what's this? The latest and grandest installation in the unnatural history wing. It's a ghost ship believed to be the ill-fated Luciana Pearl. Interesting. And the merchant ship Luciana Pearl set sail on November something 72. I think that's a two? Uh, all signs pointed to an uneventful journey. However, the ship never arrived at its destination and was presumed lost at sea. The ship was finally discovered years later by the lighthouse keeper on the Lake Island Point, shrouded in eerie green mist. It was completely abandoned, yet still in seaworthy condition, with no evidence of foul play. Most remarkably, it was entirely invisible. Well then. So can I examine it in some way? Let's see the next page. What happened aboard the Pearl? Over a century later, the Luciana Pearl still fascinates. Still fascinates. So. Interesting. Living ship full of cargo. So what's my bad? Oh wait, that's right, that's a different clue. Sorry, my bad. I was like, oh, why is my clue already showing? But it's a different one, sorry. Looks like I'm on the right track. These pieces were clearly torn from the same paper. Now to find the rest. Hmm. So I'm just gonna see, can I do something to Oh I see it's just a zoom in button. Okay. I see. I think we're done with this book. 
I'm gonna move around the bookcase to find more clues. I can always step back to see the whole bookcase. And I can use my trusty magnifying glass to get a closer look. That you can. Ooh. New Year, same you. I mean, it's... It looks like the hour hand is stuck at two. Still two. I think it's broken. I bet there's something inside. Can I look again? Two. No surprise there. <laughs> the hour is still two. Time sure moves slowly in the, uh, in Arpherton. I was sort of hoping maybe it was like hinting at the fact that maybe there was something, you know, like inside. I don't know. Let's give this a spin and find Arpherton on the map. Ah. Uh, Ah. Uh, oops. Uh. How do I how do I zoom out on the controller? There it is. There it is. That did not go well. Obviously, I could have been worse. Let's look at the book. Can't get in there. We need the key. Okay, there we go. So, investigation of unusual activity in June. Interesting. Oh, there's six pages of this. List of people find the site. Hmm. So a lot of people. I don't think that's all of them, because it didn't end at like didn't end at a late letter. Yeah, there we go. Known aliases. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, it smells of lemons. Must have been recently cleaned. Or they like lemons. <laughs> Nothing to say that's not what they were doing with it. Finding Arthurton. Hmm. This music is really good, by the way. I really like it. It sets the scene really well. I'm gonna try this one because it's got the really thick book. Oh, hello. Hmm. Oh, it's a cute bunny. <laughs> Not as cute anymore. It's... Yay! You got a clue. It's a dead bunny. Hooray. I'm so happy I opened this book. Right. Well, my instincts were correct, technically speaking, but still. It makes me feel a whole lot better. <laughs> See what have we got here? That right, that unusual uh, right. It's over a million years old, and does it say any something on Halloween Eve? Something he brutally killed his wife, her lover, and her handmaiden. Well then, the skulls all that survived. Lovely. That's why it's ah. Uh, what the hell is that? <laughs> okay, and just a creepy owl. This wonderful specimen will certainly turn heads. Oh, almost certainly, D definitely. I I think it is divine, personally. I think it's safe to say you are trapped there forever. Like you, you are, you are not getting out of there. You are on that rock forever. Hmm. Interesting. It's a poem. Maybe not necessarily a poem, but. A story. Aha! Four of them. 
There's something else at the back of this book. What was that? What did I just do? Oh, for that. Interesting. And inside... Mmm. Wow. What an elaborate way to open a safe. Confidential evidence. Zaza. Zaza. Why is that name familiar? Wait, I know! I've seen its statue in the park. What is this journal doing here? And why does it why is it in the safe? Mine <clears throat> Project Excelsior. Built a team full of brilliant minds. This journal will serve as a record of our scientific findings and personal reflections. Because the inflation of the universe at the beginning of space time. Infinite possibility. August 6th. Everyone's getting along? Except for the new lab assistant, Kamansky. He's straight out of school and thinks he knows everything. I can already sense trouble. I don't want a repeat of last time. I have to keep an eye on him. It's a Zazer. Like a laser with a Z. How hard is that? <laughs> I swear he's doing it on purpose. Dear Laser, you shouldn't leave your journal lying around the lab, Amy. Huh. New lab idea. In time with designs for a newer facility. My calculations are correct. It should be capable of up to 300% output capacity. Huh. Well, Amy certainly likes likes this guy. November 4th is so quite a way on. Days are blurring together. Every experiment brings us closer to unlocking the seemingly impossible. But the number of strange incidents at the lab continues to grow. I swear someone was following me again last night. Also, I think Hilda suspects Amy and me. <laughs> More setbacks. Exhaustion. Rushed. Schedule. Equals da sorry, exhaustion plus rush schedule equals dangerous conditions. Why do they insist we run the new tests this weekend? It's just not ready! In the meantime, we need to step up safety protocols and be vigilant to avoid any more contaminations. I keep stealing my pens! <laughs> December 13th. Hilda left. She took the furniture with her. And she wrote a really nasty note. But also baked me a lovely steak pie. <laughs> Ferris wheel. Oh, oh, that's great. <laughs> hey, my birthday! I've been sleeping in the lab. Nothing to come home to. What am I doing here? What are we really trying to accomplish? I must believe our personal sacrifices say serve a greater purpose. This is really interesting. Amy has disappeared. I'm worried. No one has seen her since she left since last Saturday. She wasn't at her apartment either. I got access to the security reels. At 5.45, she goes into the bathroom on floor H, but never comes back out. How is that possible? She wouldn't just disappear without talking to me, would she? The other's convinced she's been leaking information to... <coughs> I hope she didn't leave because of what happened on Tuesday. Buy new underwear. Well done. Can't sleep. Still no word from Amy. Where is she? February 9th. What a bittersweet feeling. We're finally getting stable, repeatable results. The output ratio is incredible. But we're only just beginning to unlock the potential. In the right hands, this could change the world. 11pm, meet with Detective Barnes, new info about Amy. I thought the people upstairs would be pleased with our progress, but instead, we spent all day in meetings about dismantling the project. It doesn't make any sense. We, we are only 43 million over budget. Uh, only, okay. I'm starting to think that they aren't in this for the right reasons. The last demonstration went perfectly and now, that now they want to get rid of us. 
Well, you have spent a lot of money. April, all my fault. Too late. I was so naive. I can't get a face out of my mind. Terrifying look in her eyes. Amy is dead. Why her? Oh, but I want to read the rest of that. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that to me. I was genuinely enjoying that. You, why would you do this? I was, I was having a blast reading that. It was really fun. I love voice acting. Don't, don't take this away from me. <laughs> so what is it? Saves. Oh, I didn't see what she said. It says I need to pull three books in the correct, correct order to open the safe. But I thought I already opened the safe. But wait, no. Jesus frickin' Christ. <laughs> you freaked me out. <laughs> oh man, that genuinely creeped me out. Don't do that again. Okay, no, seriously, I'm not even joking. I want to read the end of that. What did that say? What did it say about her? You can't, can't do that to me. I know too much. Must destroy experiment and all documents before they find it. They are everywhere. Just keep something safe. But nowhere. They're everywhere but nowhere. Who are you? What the hell were you making? So three books in the right order. Okay, so let's see. Check the current time and note the hour. Two. Pull the book from the numbers group. Pull the book from the months group. Pull the book from the zodiac group. Two. Pick book two from that group. Right. Numbers group. Numbers group. So red, blue, purple. Which one's which one's numbers? Is that zodiac? Probably. New year. Time. March. That's months. Let me guess. Numbers dozen. Killers dozen. So. Did it say? So it's Numbers, Mums, Zodiac. Book two. This book feels like it's attached to some kind of mechanism. Knew it. Okay. And then... That is definitely where it starts. Zodiac. Maybe I should take another look at that paper. Wait, what? What do you mean? But two. Numbers, month, zodiac. To unlock your new safe, you must pull three books in the correct order. That's the chart on the reverse side. The corresponding. Oh. Right. So the hour is two, yes? Just just to confirm, just to make sure I actually fully understand this. The hour is two. Yes, the hour is two. Pull the book from the numbers group. Two. Right, I see. It's not which book it is. I get it. It's it's more vague. It's more specific than that. There's a book that says two on it. Possible steps. Seven minutes. Eight. 
A German phrase book. No. Nine. Ten ways to make them pay. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Double agent. Double. Oh, this is genius. This is actually genius. Stat book. Then. Months. This is. Li I. I love this. Okay, so. February. Which one's February? New Year's, so that's January. Love in the time of murder. It has to be that one, surely. It has to be. Because January, February, March, April, May. And I get the feeling maybe it's suggesting... Oh, Val Valentine is what's... Also Valentine, so Valentine's January. But I think Time of Murder, maybe that... Is that ref referring to Amy, maybe? I'm going to pull that one anyway. Then Zodiac. Zodiac. I'll be honest, I don't know what that actual signal is. I wish I could tell you. I guess I can... Old Man and the Fish. It must be... It must be Aquamania. That makes sense. Yeah, because that's Rams. It has to be that. That's right. Yeah, it has to be. There we go. Okay, I got it. Got it. There we go. Oh, hello. That's new. Whoa. Uh, hi. Uh, the old secret door in the bookcase. The gates to wind. I knew there was more to this room. Let's find out what real secrets you've been hiding. Please don't be the end. Please don't end now. Please don't end now. Please don't end now. Please don't end now. Jenny hesitated at the doorway. What secrets would she find? And what would she discover about? <coughs> As she crossed the threshold, she knew. There was no turning back. That was amazing. Oh, it's not over. Yes, it's not over. What is all this? Home security gone crazy? And how does it all fit behind a bookcase? It looks like someone was just here. Oh god, this is creepy. I've never seen a lock like this. I wonder what kind of key it takes. I'm so glad it's not over. I love this. this is really good. The recording device looks really expensive. The wires run over to those monitors. Whatever it's recording, it can't be good. What are all these screens for? The coffee is still warm. That's never a good thing. The house only has two floors, so why does this ele elevator have so many more? And where does it go? Definitely underground, because we're at the top. So, what's below us? Wait, all those days. What is he counting down? Oh! Oh, what is he? It's only three days away. These tubes are full. Film, ro film rolls? The complexity of the controls overwhelmed Jenny. How could a little girl possibly navigate such an elaborate system? There are two buttons and a joystick. I'll figure it out. Hey, is that the front door? Yay! Excellent news. Right. So beyond that... I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with this. Do you want me to use the mouse and try something else? It says don't push. 
That just makes me want to push it more. Yeah, no, I understand that. Ah, okay, we can change. Oh god, that's not good. Hi. Lovely to see you. Can I change? It's weird that I can't change with the uh, Xbox controller. I have to change with the mouse. Oh well. What are we looking at here? Is this a graveyard? Looks like it. He's got cameras all over Arvita. It doesn't make any sense. out of town or something. I'm just waiting for a camera behind her and then someone's there. Where is this? Is this just like... Well, one of the dinosaurs is free. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Atmosphere it brings is just ah. Oh, hello. I'm Arthur K. Finkelstein, homemade jam enthusiast, wildlife <laughs> dental society member, and author of Jenny the Clue. Oh, that's cool. The greatest choose your own adventure novel series in the world. And now I want you to help me write her biggest adventure yet. Jenny the Clue, Detective Rule, an interactive adventure game where you control the story. Hey, you're not supposed to see that yet. Spoiler alert. As I was saying, we'll explore the town of Arthurton, a world rich with characters like Jenny the Clue. When her mother is accused of murder, Jenny takes on the case of her life. And soon she discovers Nothing is what it seems. Oh, choose cool. your own adventure game. With choosiness on a massive scale. Crack the case. Save your family. Unearth Arvidon's dark secrets. I am very hyped for this game. It is super awesome. Like, truly, truly awesome. I had a blast with it. And I hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. As I said earlier, uh, check out the website. The link's in the description. Um, definitely download the demo, play it for yourself. And, yeah, and uh, if pre-order it if, you, if you're intrigued, because this was awesome. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to the full release. I don't know when that actually is, but yeah, it's yeah, that's that was really cool. So thank you for watching, everyone. See ya. Bye bye.